as OMG, like our goal is to minimize the stress and the anxiety behind the DMs, but not just in doing them, not just in executing them, but also in other aspects of like, you know, what happens if somebody quits on me and then things like that, right? We can easily interchange you guys, April and Tarina, you know, we've offered you guys more coaches just in case something happens, we kind of move you around and things like that, right? Um, and, and that is kind of like the beauty of, of um, OMG is that some coaches stress out about hiring somebody because then they may leave. And then when they leave, it's like two to three weeks before they get a new person. And with us, since we have a team, and we're all kind of on the same page. We can help each other out more on the back end and transition much quicker. While it may not be immediate like today, at least it'll be much better than like two to three weeks. It may be like two or three days, but it's so much better than two to three weeks before you get someone new. So let's start with Amy because I know Amy has to go here in, in a few minutes, but really I have no questions on what you guys um, um, want to say. Vanika, what I was telling them is just kind of like what OMG is and, and what the the cool thing about this is and and really the the offer of like the VA side of things, the DMer side of things is that, you know, when we just do it on our own, it's like I've hired about 12 or 13 people within like just be fit. Now, OMG, just within be fit. And like the big thing that I struggled with over the four years that I was doing that is that someone would leave. And then I got like three, four, five, six weeks before I actually find someone I like. And then I'm having to do the DMs and then they last for X amount of time. And then whatever happens there, you know, then I go through another period here with us, we can kind of have the whole team work on, let's say, you know, if you have a DMer that leaves or something, you know, April can fill in or Tarina can fill in during the time being until we really structure it out. And instead of waiting two to three weeks for you to hire your own, you can wait two to three days as a team. So that way we can uh, really fix, um, you know, what's going on. So I have no questions specifically for what you guys want to say about, you know, not necessarily just your experience, but just how you feel about this overall. So you can just kind of say whatever you feel is right. Cause I don't have anything. We're going to start with Amy. Go ahead. Amy. Oh, I've already talked to Trina about this already. Like she's been amazing. Like it, it's just life-changing what she's done. I tell her all the time, I'm learning from you. She does it better than I ever could have. So I obviously couldn't have hired someone as well as you guys, because uh, I'm learning along the way, but she's just much better at it in the way of, I took too much time. I would overthink things. I would put too much into the conversations. So it's really helpful for me to see how she's getting to the point of things, but the people are still so receptive. I am, I put too much in and people probably get lost. I don't know. I'm I end up talking too much or saying too much. And so I always thought the less I said was worse, but it's obviously not because she's, she's doing amazing. And my business is growing amazingly all because of her. So I love it. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Darina, do you have anything to, to say back? You're muted, girl. <laughs> You're muted. <laughs> I don't think we can anybody else here. No, you're you're muted. You're, you're muted. mute. Okay, can you hear me now? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, and um, Amy, I think I'm just piggybacking off all the conversations you've already created because, like, everyone is so receptive to you because of all the time you spent in the DMs with them already, giving them free information. So, um, it's been really easy for me to um, piggyback off that. So, it's been team teamwork. <laughs> Yeah, so that that's just practically a testament to what I said the other day was like, got to be on your marketing, right? Uh, got to be on your marketing, give high quality uh, information to the people that are out there. Um, because now you have the time. You know, now you have the time. I, I guess speak on that maybe too, Amy, time wise, you know, what is that? What does that now give you specifically? It's well, I mean, the insane amount of sales calls I've had was a little overwhelming at first, but um, what a, what I think a problem now, to have. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, it, it was very different for me. Um, but yeah, I think the biggest thing for me, content wise, I think we're learning is that 
not just the regular posts, but my audience is really receptive to my stories. They just feel like I'm someone just like them. And that I think that's listening to her conversations is where it's all coming from of, Hey, you're just like me. You can do this. I can do this. And it feels like more of a friendship and we're, we don't even know each other. So, um, that's, I've heard a lot. And even like sharing my own journey, I've had so many people get on the call be like, oh, your post about that of like what you're doing, like I struggle in that way. So I love seeing how you're handling it. So um yeah. So now I just have to continue with all yeah, so of that so with my so free saying, time. So you're also saying in the same swing that um, you know, having having this kind of service um and help has allowed you to show up more on your stories, which then ultimately helps you connect with your audience a whole lot more win-win for sure just just because uh i'd love to hear what did what have you made so far in in this I past am uh, two weeks you know just me. under 30k yeah insane That's i'm nice. blown away where, yeah where were, where were you at na- last month for the year i was at 60 so oh. it, yeah <laughs> <Fuck> yes. <laughs> yeah oh, i love it i fucking yeah, love it and then the sales aspect and the marketing aspect, was there something that was like super helpful? Really the game changer for me was our last call where I switched kind of just talking about their daily life, how their day is going. And they just tell me more about their day that has really changed like the whole trajectory of the call for me, which mm-hmm. is super helpful. It allows me to get into all of the things I knew I needed to a little easier. Yeah. And the telling them up front, like I want an answer at the end. People at the end of the call are like, I know you wanted an answer. I didn't know how to navigate that as easily. So Mm -hmm. they like bring it up. Okay. I know you wanted an answer. Like, okay. Yeah. And so Mm -hmm. I don't even have Mm -hmm. to do much. They talk themselves into it. So that's been great too. But no, thank you for real uh, for, for taking some time out of your day it's really cool that you're growing 30k what a problem to have you know uh (laughs) but uh good problems right but uh, no that's cool it makes me happy it's definitely it's definitely something that i i worry about daily you know it's like how do we how do we execute this even more on a daily basis so um i'm glad that you were able to share that with obviously tarina and april here thank you it was best investment ever. So awesome. I love it. Thank you. Much love. All right. Bye. Yeah. April. I mean, she's amazing. Even from the first day, my phone is like blowing up. I'm like, Oh my God, she is just like the volume of messages. I'm just like overwhelmed with, and I would never be able to do that on my own. It's, I mean, just incredible. And the follow-up and she just got like, kind of like what Amy was saying, like, she just goes for it. Like, I'm definitely the overthinker too, where I'm like, oh, I don't know, like, should I say it? And she just is like, in there. It's, it's been really awesome so far. And just not having to worry about that, because it really is, you know, when you have like 30 clients, and you're balancing check-ins, and then trying to do your marketing and trying to do everything else. And then you're like, oh, I got a DM, like, it's just so much. And I was someone I did have a DM or before who like quit on me, at, like with no notice, yeah. I and I was just kind of like, oh my God, what do I do? So having, you know, the security of like, okay, if something happens, like there's backup plans and I'm not going to be scrambling is, is huge. I think the big thing is like the time mm-hmm. you just get so exhausted. Yeah. And then you almost get like frustrated for sure at the, cause you got like 40 hours worth of other stuff. And then you need to tack on 20 hours of DMing for the week. Yeah, I mean, I never did 20 hours of DMing, to be honest. And like, obviously, that's. Yeah, but I mean, it, it, you probably would have if you were excited to do them, if that was like your only thing. It's very hard. That's why, for example, Corey focuses on marketing for you guys, and I try to focus on just sales. How insane would that be if I had to take on both of them? You know, it just, I would be so tired. I would be so exhausted. There's just only like so much you can do in the day. And it was just time to try to obviously make something for you guys like this, because I know you guys spend 10, 15, 20 hours. And even if you don't spend that much time, you're spending time thinking that you want to do it. And then you don't ever do it. And that's, that's time out of your day. Anyways, you sit there, you're just like, 
when do I want to stop? <laughs> let me go. Let me go clean the kitchen real quick to see if I can motivate. Let me go clean my room. Let me go play some basketball. Let me go to the gym and see if I'll get myself in the mood for this right kind of random thing. Overall, what were you nervous about coming in and what then got debunked after yep. coming in? So I think I was nervous because it was brand new. So you're like, okay, I'm, I obviously trust you a lot. Yeah. I was like, this sounds like exactly what I need, but like, I, we're pretty much, you know, the guinea pigs, like, mm-hmm. is it actually going to deliver on what you say it's going to be? Did 100%, like Amy said, like best investment ever, you know, I've invested more money elsewhere and not, not that I didn't get good results, but you know, I got stuck at a point mm-hmm. and I feel like this was exactly what I needed to really push past and I would do it over and over again, you know, a hundred times. So what you're saying is the thing was the brand new and then the myth, what was the myth that we busted? It just, cause it was new, you know, other companies aren't doing this. You, I, you know, it seems like almost too good to be true. Uh, I was a little skeptical, but knew you enough to be like, all right, I'm trusting you. I think I even said on our call, I was like, I'm yeah, trusting like, you trust- here. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it all worked out. And I think it, you know, just all of it together. So the help with the sales, you know, that's helped with closing more calls. I increased my prices. Um, And then the help with the marketing, like just one showing up more consistently with having accountability to, you know, like you need to do this. Yeah. And then also just tweaks in my content. Like I think even in the past, like two weeks, I've had two different video or two different reels on Instagram that got like one had like 26,000 views and like hundreds of new followers like that's never happened for me before all I love that you guys I know we made, we reaching made... out to all of them because I wouldn't have time to do that so yeah you no, we... and you know like I don't really get really new clients from Instagram most of my clients are from Facebook but yeah. we saw Natalie she you know she's from Instagram she was a new follower that was nice. all April. we knew what we were coming into kind of like you know what OMG was going to be but we didn't really know what mm-hmm. kind of things you guys would say or what kind of like stress it would relieve for you guys and not just not just the dm or portion either because it's obvious that it's not just a dm or portion mm-hmm. the sales trainings that i do with you guys it's a marketing piece of it that Corey does with you guys it's the stress that jeff alleviates with obviously managing the dmers on the, it's it's like a threefold thing oh for sure um, i think so, that there's like bonus like things i didn't ex- anticipate or expect to be included like you know hey make sure your onboarding is streamlined so that saves you time and also provides a better service for your clients like Mm -hmm. that's really cool too yeah i was thinking of all the things of loose ends that i could tie up for you guys nothing nothing that i wanted to teach you like super new right but just like loose ends you guys are already coming in with some things nothing's more annoying than having to change up everything all at once you know just just a few loose ends to tie up so um coming in you hit your first 10k month obviously. I actually blew right past that. So we're at 11k now. That's great. Today's the 23rd. Yeah. Black Friday is in two days. Cyber Monday is on Monday. Mm -hmm. Um, what, what is, what does that feel like? Where were you at before? Yeah. I had been at like 8k, like in that range for like six months. Nice. So I'm just always like, I'm going to get to 10K. And it just like seems so elusive. Like I just couldn't get there. And now the money's just going to disappear. You're just going to be like, damn, I got to hit 20 now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my husband said. He's like, I, I well, swear. Let's get 10, let's get 20. I'm telling you. Vanika, let's move on to, to you. Thanks, Meg. For, for you, you know, I feel like you and I got to know each other more in here mm-hmm. than we did anywhere else. Um, so, you know, I know more about Megan than I do you like you and Amy. So really your story is more new to me. Yeah. I think just like Amy and Megan kind of said everything, but it's just been so, so helpful. Like Trina has been absolutely fantastic. Like I've learned so much from her as well. She's like, we talk almost every day, which Mm -hmm. is really nice. She's always like in my messages and Slack, we're talking like back and forth. Um, Like one time she pointed out that like a bunch of my posts were on like private settings and no one could actually see them. I was like, boy, so change those up, things like that. you know, I was, I like wake up in the morning and I'll like check like through my DMs and I'll be like sleeping and then I'll wake up to like 40 messages just sent out. And it's, it's the nicest feeling to be like, okay, messages are all sorted out. I can just focus on what it is that I need to get done because I know that she's doing such a great job just taking care of everything else. Yeah. Uh, so that's like a really nice kind of like feeling of relief. I think coming into this, I was 
a little bit nervous about having a DM -er and like, would they kind of sound like me? Would it, would it feel really like robotic and kind yeah. of like, they're just like reading off some script, but she like the opposite. Like you can tell that she actually like listens to what the person's saying is like taking into account, like what they're struggling with, like picks out really like specific things in like their profile, their messages or things they've responded to in my stories. Um, and that's been really nice. So I kind of like feel really comfortable with her just like in my, in my messages all the time now. And I don't feel like I have to like keep looking at everything. I'll be like, yeah. micromanaging so, stuff. And yeah, exactly. I, I just like, no, I'm just like, she's good today. Like we, I don't need to worry about it. If there's anything, she'll message me. And that's yeah. the nice thing too. She'll be like, you know, is there, do you know this person? Like just to check. And I'll be like, yes, no, like go for it. Um, so mm -hmm. cool. it's nice to have that like rapport. We're definitely a good team. Awesome. I, I I skipped right over it. I'm sorry, April. April, did you want to say anything to Megan? <laughs> well, no, no, nothing. <laughs> She's like, amazing. <laughs> she she has a good um uh, a lot of followers, especially in Instagram. Every time she posts it, there's a I think there's one Megan. You have 556 uh, likes. I think on that reel. So what I did is I just, I messaged them. I think I, I took just three days to check and go over on those, um, uh, those who likes, and then I messaged them. And then um, I first, um, actually at first on her Instagram, there are only few who responded back. But because the team, the, you know, the whole team, um, uh, we had a training and how to, how, what to say and uh, the script is really, the script rocks. So it changes. So I, I was able to, uh, to get a hold of um, some of her uh, leads actually. So yeah, well, the, just like what Trina says, it's the whole team, it's a teamwork. So <laughs> that's why I love the team. I love this family. Definitely um, being scared of like having someone else in your DMs who you have never met um who is you know you kind of like not you, you got to go through like a middleman you got to go through you know omg essentially to meet the to meet the dmer and then you kind of have to trust two people um two things or you know obviously there's jeff Corey, and i right but no that could be very stressful which is also one of the pieces that we were talking about is like how can we become an agency but not have all of the agency problems of like, you know, buying someone for two grand and then, or three grand or whatever, take them on. And then that person quits on you or actually isn't very good, or you still have to manage them and things like that. And I think we do a very good job overall as a team on, we meet Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays to go over scripts. We share conversations in the DMS um, in our chat. We ring bells whenever um, we book calls and underneath those bells in our Slack channel, which you guys are familiar with, obviously, we can reply underneath that same message and then continue on the conversation there. So we, you know, we, we see where we kind of can improve on on a daily. So that's, that's definitely how I would say that we keep kind of like that tie of like, how does the coach sound? How do you sound? And how can we improve like our DM script and everything over here? So that way it does feel like you did just hire them directly and instead of indirectly, which is, which is super cool. So in time, because I asked Amy the same question, I didn't necessarily <clears throat> ask Megan this one in, in time related things. Now that you have had someone doing your DMS, I, I feel like every coach wants to become a better coach. I feel like that is what we have been ingrained in. It's like the, tr the traditional thing of like, you know, coaches want to coach. We want to be good coaches. We want to be knowledgeable coaches. We want to do things like that. But now that you have someone else kind of taking on and alleviating that time uh, restriction of doing DMs, what have you then gotten accomplished because of this? Yeah, I think just being way more consistent with marketing, like first and foremost, I think like when I saw Corey's plan, I was like, this is super overwhelming. And then realizing that, okay, well, I don't have to do any of my messaging and all my DMs, that's what's taken care of for me. It's allowed me to show up like every day on my Instagram, like have the time to actually create like content. Um, and then as well, just having the time with my clients, like getting yeah. that time back as well. Like now I like don't feel like I'm rushed every single day. Yeah. Or I know you, you, you mentioned, it was kind of funny that you mentioned this, how it's not even like the time I was spent doing DMs, but most of the time I was like 
spending like thinking oh my goodness I should be DMing I should right be doing DM. <laughs> and like that that like that like guilt feeling of like oh I really should be DMing right now and I just wasn't doing it yeah. so I mean like before OMG I had like three three months of like zero clients and then this month I'm about to hit my first 10k month that's in, fucking incredible like, that's oh, incredible I just from, like, I mean, so we're, we're this is the 23rd how many clients have you signed Resigned uh, too, that because I saw you guys. Yeah, some I've resigned three of my clients, nice. and I'm on three new clients. Nice. So, three, three new clients. so that's six. You told me when you came into the program that you had nine. Yeah. How long did it take you to get to nine? Uh, like nine months. <laughs> so, so essentially, in a month, you got three. Yeah. So we need two more months to 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 essentially. Do in, in three months, we're no, doing yeah, the month is not. Over, so we're good. <laughs> that's fucking my, my goal is to get five this month. That's my that's my yeah, when the month's not even over. Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are we talking about? Go Black Friday, still, go Black, still Friday. Black Friday, yeah, fuck Cyber Monday and all this, yeah. shit, right? <laughs> cool, cool. No, that's that's awesome. 10, 10k months, um, finally. I, I guess, I guess, then the question then is like nine months. Um, the, the one thing, and, and maybe this is more of a challenging question for you to, for you to answer. And again, I don't really have a script. I'm just kind of going off of the dome here. That's gotta be frustrating. Oh, hundred percent. I, I know for a fact that I put in more work than I was doing beforehand, yeah. but for some reason it feels really like seamless and easy because I feel like I have so much support here, mm -hmm. which has been really, really nice. It's in terms like, of what, like, what, what is, what is the support you're referring to? In terms of just like, we have those regular sat calls that I show up for all the time. Like, <clears throat> you know, Trina's messaging me every single day. So I know yep. she's on it. Like, I don't want to let her down. You know, mm -hmm. we're talking in Slack all the time. Like Megan and I are like on the outside and WhatsApp, like chatting all the time about things. Mm -hmm. um, I just feel like I have such a community here, which has really helped. Um, whereas before, I think like in other programs, I just was feeling like overwhelmed by everyone. So having yeah. this kind of like, knit team has been has been huge to that yeah and that's and that's a big thing because you know emerald emerald is the 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 main program right in emerald we plan on having roughly anywhere between 25 to 30 coaches all at a time right now we're um how many coaches do we have? 12 of you guys so imagine the team being double the size but even then it would it would still be cool that is where we would cap emerald once mm -hmm. once emerald goes through um, about two or three months and then we add in a new a new set but then you guys are then transitioning into diamond at that point in time and right. diamond is more so less accountability because you guys are rolling you guys are rolling you know what i mean like things are things are good right you guys um, are in a good flow the beginning of this needs to be like how can we make some good some good like fast changes nothing major tie up loose ends very quickly and then, and then allow you to then think of the coaching space that you wanted to be in a little bit differently, which is, you know, this doesn't have to be complicated. This doesn't have to be stressful. This doesn't have to be like what everybody else is preaching of like work all day long and, and see no results kind of thing. I'm not saying that everybody is that, I guess that would be the worst um, way to put it, but you know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Um, so that's but super it cool. It definitely feels like I'm still building my own business. And you guys are obviously like crucial in helping out with that. But it doesn't feel like I'm just like being pushed into like create this cookie cutter business model that like everyone else is using kind of thing. Yeah. Like I feel like you guys actually know where, where I want to go or like, you know, my strengths and what I'm good at. Yeah. And I feel like I'm still like in charge. I guess I'll ask you the same question. Um, maybe that I did Megan, what, what was kind of like the, the debunked thing overall here that maybe you were like really, really nervous about kind of thing. I know that you were like, you know, somebody that I don't know in my DMs, but from everything mm -hmm. that you've learned over the past 10 months, 12 months of coaching, was there anything else aside from that, that you're just like, you know what? Like there is actual help for me and my business kind of thing. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I think, you know, mainly just feeling like I was going to go come into this and it was just going to be another one of those, like it would help for a little bit and then it would like fall off because that's kind of been what's happened every time. I feel like I've invested in these things and then mm -hmm. it's worked really well for a little bit and then I've kind of fallen off, but I really feel like, just like you said, I can really sustain this. This feels like, like I'm, I'm excited every day when I like get to work my business now, whereas before it, at some points it felt like sure. dreaming. And now I'm like, 
I can sustain this. I feel really good about this. Like I'm excited for it. And I feel like I've got that energy back into it as opposed to before, even when I was like not putting as like half as much time into it. Mm-hmm. It was just like another thing to do on my list. So. Yeah. No, that's cool. That's cool. That's uh, that's solid. And I guess that's part of that same sustainability that I was just saying, right? Yeah. It's like sustaining the excitement, not so much like the work ethic, but just the excitement as well. Cool. Any last thoughts between you and Megan, I guess? Um, I don't have anything else. Like I said, I, I didn't really have like interview questions for this. I'm just talking to you guys. All right, Trini is smashing it. Keep going. Thank you so much. <laughs> Megan. You too, Vanika. You're kidding us. Yeah, April, thank you so much. You're you're rocking it. I'm so happy that you're on my team here and I, you're you're amazing. So keep keep crushing it. But Vanika and Megan appreciate it. Um, taking time out of your day. Anything you want to say to them, Jeff? No, I absolutely fucking appreciate you guys communicating with uh, the VAs every day. So helping Tarina and April, because the more you communicate with them, because I'm in all those chats as well, the more I can see where I can help critique, give them a little bit of feedback or where I can help you guys and give uh, Kevin and Corey some feedback so they can make adjustments. And it just makes the whole system work faster for you guys. Mm-hmm. So I appreciate that a lot. The layers of this is is solid, I feel. But okay. All right. You guys can dip. Much love. See you guys later. Bye.